Hollywood Historama, from out of the past, the story of Greer Garson, the star who proved beauty could be coupled with selflessness. From the very beginning, this Irish-born, green-eyed redhead displayed a pleasing, happy, and life-loving bearing that was to capture the hearts of millions who followed her career, which had its beginning on the London stage. As the striking Greer Garson, she attracted Leo Ginn and all the top British stars of the day, as well as a curious Louis B. Mayer who attended a performance of old music to see what all the shouting was about. He was convinced, signed her to a contract, and shipped her to Hollywood where she sat idle for her first year. However, she was idle for a good reason. Mayer felt the scripts submitted for her were not good enough until one James Hilton arrived on the scene with the screenplay for Goodbye, Mr. Chips. She was immediately shipped to England for the role opposite Robert Donut that overnight was to make her an international star. Returning to Hollywood, Remember and Pride and Prejudice preceded the memorable Blossoms in the Dust, which introduced her to Walter Pidgeon, her co-star of many pictures to follow, and affixed to the public's mind Greer's successful image of a beautiful woman dedicated not to sexuality, but to good works. Miss Garson's most important role became an award-winning effort as Mrs. Miniver was released in 1942, perhaps one of World War II's greatest morale-building pictures. It became the one everyone was to remember her by and the one picture she was to hold closest to her heart as it placed this near newcomer on a pedestal with an Oscar and thousands of superlatives written about the year's greatest actress. The James Hilton novel, Random Harvest, was the next fair granted screenplay approval for Miss Garson. Her imitation of the great Sir Harry Lauder surprised one and all as she introduced another facet of talent. Chosen by exhibitors as Hollywood's most popular screen actress, Greer consented to making guest performances in other films, such as The Youngest Profession, but soon after, set to work in earnest in what some considered to be an equal effort to her Mrs. Miniver. As Madame Curie, the French scientist who discovered radium, her penetrating and powerful performance won her a second Academy Award nomination. By now, the Garson influence upon the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences was becoming a habit as again with her favorite co-star, she teamed with Walter Pidgeon for her next Academy nomination as Mrs. Parkington. This warm and understanding actress adeptly portrayed the seven ages of man with an ease that made a very difficult task seem almost effortless. And fans rewarded her again by voting her the screen's most popular actress who obligingly stole the affection of Clark Gable in Adventure is first upon discharge from active service. With the slogan, Gable's back and Garson's got him, she became the envy of women everywhere. With Julia Misby Hayes, that foresight woman, which teamed her with Errol Flynn and Robert Young, the men of her story, the sequel to her greatest hit, fittingly climaxed the career of this Irish Colleen who managed to steal the heart of her American public. Her return as Mrs. Roosevelt in Sunrise at Campobello with co-star Ralph Bellamy has gladdened the hearts of fans the world over, who in this day and age of filmed violence can again look forward to the dedication of the portrayal of the goodness in man through the efforts of the endearing Greer Garson. <laughs>